Prosecutors retrace the final hours of a woman who was murdered and the connections of three defendants in the case. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. The victim, Maricela Botello, disappeared after a night in Deep Ellum. Prosecutors say Lisa Dykes stabbed her to death in a jealous rage for sleeping with Charles Beltran. Dykes was romantically involved with Beltran and the third defendant, Nina Moreno. Fox 4's Alex Boyer has today's testimony. Alex. Clarice, this case certainly has a lot of twists and turns. Today we learned that Elisa Dykes was apparently trying to make several calls to uh, Beltrans' cell phone around the time that investigators believe that uh, she and Marano were disposing of Botello's body in Wilmer. We also learned more today about Dykes' alleged connection to witchcraft. On day three of testimony in the murder case against Lisa Dykes, the jury was shown surveillance video of 23-year-old Maricela Botello entering a Dallas area 7-Eleven with Charles Beltran. This was around 1.20 a.m. on October 5th, 2020, just hours before prosecutors argued Dykes killed Botello in a jealous rage inside the Mesquite home she shared with Beltran. Dallas police detectives explained how they traced the victim's movements using a license plate reader to get a hit on Beltran's ID. We pulled the, the uh, driver's license picture of Mr. Beltran and it matched the person who had walked in with uh, Maricela to that 7-Eleven that morning. On October 15th, detectives showed up to Dykes' home to try to talk to Beltran. No one answered the door. In court Thursday, it was revealed that Beltran was dating another woman at the time Botello disappeared from Deep Ellum. That woman, whose identity was not disclosed in court, testified she was supposed to meet up with Beltran at 2 a.m. when she got off work. It made me feel like he was with somebody else, you know, because he never answered. The woman said she hung out with Beltran on the afternoon of October 5th, 2020, the same day detectives say Dykes stabbed Botello to death inside Beltran's room. After that, he never took me back to the house like he would always want to rent hotels. Prosecutors maintain Beltran, Dykes, and another woman, Nina Moreno, were in a three-way relationship at the Mesquite home. Moreno owned a home in Pennsylvania prior to moving in with Dykes and Beltran in Texas. Her next-door neighbor, a real estate agent, testified that days after Botello was killed, Moreno called her in a panic about the Pennsylvania home. She just said that it had to be listed right away. It kind of seemed urgent. Jamie Scarpa said in November of 2020, Moreno shipped a black Audi A3 to her home and asked Scarpa to put a cover over it. Investigators said it was Beltran's car. Scarpa said Dykes even came to Moreno's Pennsylvania home to sign the listing documents and that during a tour of the house, she got the shock of her life. A statue similar to this one pictured on Moreno's nightstand of the Grim Reaper. In that side, that large closet, it was like a life-size, I guess you call it a statue of a skeleton. And it was wearing like a robe and it was holding something like this. There's like a mat on the floor in front of it. And what did they do in front of that? Uh, kneeled. What did you think about that? I was ready to go. And Scarpa told uh, police today, or detectives, I should say, uh, that detectives showed up to that Pennsylvania home just days after that, but nobody was home. Now, the house was later sold in Pennsylvania in March of 2021, and then shortly after that, the two women were arrested in Florida. Back to you. Alex Boyer reporting live. Alex, thank you.